All right, so the last thing I want to do right before I get into the tool settings and the stock setup is I want to create a rectangle that defines my stock. So I want to create a rectangle that is 9 inches by 10 inches. Hit enter and it's going to create my rectangle and then I'm going to snap it onto negative 2.5 and negative 0.25 and then hit enter. And you're going to see that my rectangle snap onto there. Now I'm just using that as stock. It's nothing exact. It's not a, an exact stock that I'm using. I'm just using that uh, to uh, guide my tool. And I'll show you why when I start creating my 2D high speed tool path. It's because I want to be able to pick that border as well as my inside border and start machining. So I'm defining my stock by this rectangle. So it's not part of my geometry, but I want to use it to define my stock. Select apply and select OK. Go ahead and select tool settings right here and type in program number four and select everything under toolpath configuration like we always do. And same thing for advanced options as well and leave everything the same. Go ahead and select stock setup. Make sure top is selected rectangle as well. Go ahead and select display and select all entities. So right now, as you can see, a master cam on its own realizes that this is a 10 inch by nine inch. Now, that's because we've created this rectangle. Usually it will try to define whatever features we've created. But because I created this rectangle that's bigger than my part, it defines it automatically. And remember that is part of my uh, drawing. If I go back to my drawing real quick, this is a one inch part in depth. So I need to place a one inch in Z. Type in one inch over here and select OK. I'm going to place this in isometric view real quick and zoom out and there you go. So you're going to see your uh, part right here. This is going to be your stock that's defined by that little block that I created, those uh, rectangle geometry that I've created. And I'll show you why I created that when we start creating our first operation in the next video.